Hello class, my name is Freddy. Welcome to Fish Schooling 101. There's no homework in schools for fish, thankfully. <laughs> Schooling is just when a group of fish of the same species, like these snappers, swim together in the water. Schools can have millions of fish, or just a few depending on the species of fish. Some fish spend their whole lives in schools, like these tuna, and others schooled only part of their lives, like these Atlantic cod. These cow nose rays are known for migrating in large schools. Check out these manatees swimming through a group of large rays. Get out of the hey, way. coming through, look out, act, look out, coming through. For many fish, being in a school can make them look like one giant fish. Then it can be tricky for predators to pick just one fish out. Weird. I, I mean, I'm a big fish. I think they're onto a swim. 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 Schooling can also make it easier to find food. The more eyes you have looking, the easier it is to spot lunch. <laughs> How do we fish move as a group and never run into each other? Well, fishies' eyes are on the sides of their heads, which makes it easier to see other fish's movements. Fish also have something called lateral lines. A lateral line is a row of cells that allows a fish to sense changes in water pressure and move with neighboring fish. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, well, that's it for today, class. I'll, I'll see you next week. <laughs> this is one of many videos featured in Ranger Rick magazines. Get your subscription today.